Captain Paw here. Welcome aboard the ship of the pirates who don't do anything. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. And not so fast, you lazies. Today, we're doing a little something. Not again. We did something yesterday. Huh? All you did was order Chinese. Hey, it's hard to say, Mugu Gai Pan. Whoop, I did it again. I'm beat. Here, have one time. Ooh. Over the past few months, we've asked our loving and loyal fans to cast their votes for their favorite silly song. Well, the votes are in, and now it's time to tell them all up in the astonishing contraption of silliness! What a lame name. Who came up with that? What? I liked it. One time? Ooh. <laughs> Let the silliness begin! Well, classics like... Everybody's got a water bubble. Oh, who could forget? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Need an alpapino. Watch the cucumbers. Bucket of bolts. Enough lollygagging, you slackers. It's time to shake a leg. Buccaneer Larry, man the vote sex. Aye, aye, Captain. Pirate Lunt, hoist the booster! Okay. Well, let's go over the rules, shall we? We'll put your votes into the astonishing contraption of silliness. The astonishing contraption of silliness will count your votes, and then the astonishing contraption of silliness will count down to the silliest silly song of all time! That's it! The polls are closed. Oh, great! Well, the moment has arrived. Buccaneer Lunt, the lever! Number 10. Endangered Love. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. We join Larry as he follows the tragic saga of Barbara Manatee in the daytime drama, Endangered Love. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Sent from up above, you are the one I love. Please don't cry, Barbara. You're a nice manatee. You've been so good to me. But I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But if you need me, who will take me to the ball? Who's going to take me to the ball?
TV, Bob? Well, maybe you should read a book. Yeah, okay. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Bill say... Barbara, I've learned to dance. Oh, Bill. Number nine. The Dance of the Cucumber. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie. The part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Laddie will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino, Watch the bien, cucumber. Mueve, See how he moves. Un león, like a lion tras un chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. Es oh, how smooth his motion. Como like butter and on, on a pelon. bald monkey. Miren al pepino, Watch the cucumber. Los All the vegetables. Envy their friend. Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance? Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo! Mom! Dad! Look over here! Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in authentic Argentinian garb! Okay, Junior. But we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas. Peas. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su Here voz fuerte. Is strong Como voice. un león. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. Que su voz su garganta. The breath from his throat is like a chorus trina. of little birdies. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Envidian a su amigo. Como él quiere cantar. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Sing cucumber. Sing, sing, yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y luce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un sorbido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, senor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. Number one. Laddie's high silk hat. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show. Stop! Stop! Don't even think about it! As if omelette wasn't bad enough. Ahem. <clears throat> Philippe? Jean-Claude? Oui? Really? <laughs> and now it is time for Classy Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. One day, while he was waiting for the trolley, he had a hat. My high silk hat. He wore 
red high upon his head so proudly. A beautiful hat, my high so cat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly. Now fancy this and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty. Like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so fine, a high so fat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap there sat a treat so fungy of chocolate this and chocolate that. Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy, a chocolate bliss, a chocolate snack. Inventions such as these are more than candy, somewhat like mine, a box of that. I have my chocolate placed upon my lap, I feel so good you just cannot top that. I have my snack of chocolate, pack of chocolate this and chocolate that. Oh golly Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Time was passing and the sun grew hotter upon his hat and so his neck. So beneath his hat he thought and pondered, what should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Upon his hat. He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire and to a pool a chocolate bag. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot and my hat just might go flat. My hat just might go flat and my suit will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dad burn his coast flat. He decided to forgo his looks so dashing to save his hat. And it a snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me, sit close to me. Upon, my hat. upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back away from my snack. A great big squash just sat upon my hat. A great big squash just squished my hat real flat. He squashed my hat, he made it flat. He squished my snack. Oh, what a that. Oh, tell me anybody. Now, what do you think of that? A great big squash is sat upon his hat. A great big enormous squash squished his hat from black. He squished his hat, he made it black. He squished his hat, oh, what a bad! Oh, golly! Uh, what's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? Number seven. The Dance of the Golden Sabooners. Hold it! Stop the countdown! I, I don't understand. Uh, there must be some mistake. I, I think perhaps the astonishing contraption of silliness may need some recalibrating. This ought to do it. The Water Buffalo Song. Oh, that's a nice one. The grandfather of silly songs. The one that started the whole thing. Let's pause for a moment of respect, shall we? That's enough. Hit it! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. So without further ado, Silly Songs with Laddie. The Water Buffalo Song Everybody's got a water buffalo Yours is fast but mine is slow Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know But everybody's got a water buffalo Ooh. I took my buffalo to the store Got his head stuck in the door Spilled some lima beans on the floor Oh, everybody stop got a... Stop, stop right this instant! What do you think you're doing? Say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not have a water
water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody got a baby kangaroo. Yours is pink, but mine is blue. Hers was small. Number six. The Yodeling Veterinarian of the Alps. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie. The part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint, was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure would it come from other pets. Whoa! He's gone a little loopy, in case you haven't heard. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Mm. No skeptic could explain just how nor could one off three but the wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! Jump in your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When the nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said, no way, Jose. To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Named one after you. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. While some just scratch their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Number five 
And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laddie the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event the Song of the Sabu. Boy. A song about a little boy and his taboos. A song about a little boy and his three taboos. The little boy who had a sick taboo, a sad taboo, and a mute taboo. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. <laughs> this is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! You call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Sing it with me. Boy is riding with a boo. Boy is riding with a boo. Into town in his canoe. Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo 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 moo. A choo moo moo, 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 a choo moo moo moo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Hippo chewing on bamboo. Can see boy and see Sabu. Can see boy and see Sabu. Sabu is rowing and crying. Bahoo moo moo, bahoo moo moo, bahoo moo moo, bahoo moo 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 moo. Seen by Mute Taboo. It was seen by Mute Taboo. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mute Taboo is waving and grunting. <laughs> 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 bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look, a Sebu. Sebu. No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Sebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is scanning and weaving. Bye bye moo, bye bye moo, bye bye moo, bye bye moo, moo, moo. I want my money back. Yeah, that'd be good. Number four. The sign of the water buffalo. You don't want to do with your own lips. Wait a minute! Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it appears we're experiencing technical difficulties once again. Buy me some time. Huh? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Think of something. Come up with another one of those silly songs you're so famous for. But I didn't prepare anything. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here, use this. Chicken! Kung Pao. Chicken! Mongolian. Chicken! Sweet and sour. Chicken! Cashew. Chicken! Do 
的魔术，魔术术，魔魔术，魔魔术，魔魔术，魔魔魔魔术术。Barbecued pork, sweet and sour pork, spicy shredded pork. Do the tofu, tofu food, to to the food food, fo fo do to 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 the food food. Stop! Break a fortune cookie. Beware of grape with wooden mallet. Ain't that the truth? That ought to do it. A nice try, but I don't think it'll make the countdown. Number four, this cheeseburger. Several songs were screened, and we chose one based on the applicant's sense of artistry and all-around propriety. Thank you. So, what are you saying? I'm saying "Silly Songs" is cancelled until further notice. Oh yeah? Well, then how am I supposed to get out of this bear trap? I'm sure you'll figure something out. <laughs> and now it's time for love songs with Mr. Lunt, the part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. He said to her, "I'd like a cheeseburger, and I might like a milkshake as well." She said to him, "I can't give you either," and he said, "Isn't this burger bad?" She said, "Yes, it is, but we're closed now. But we open tomorrow at ten." He said, "I am extremely hungry, but I guess I can wait." Mr. Lunt, 
Tune in next time to hear Mr. Lutz say, I grew up in New Jersey. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Laddie confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad, you might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad, you'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Cause I love my lips! Believe that ba bil ba boo ee da ba boo ba da boo bow ya ba da ba ba dee ba ba boo ba 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 da ya ba da ba da ba 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 Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Laddie, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue, what could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed, and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. What the? I'm confused. I love my lips. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Oh, look at the time! There are only two silly songs left, and we're still in it! One song will go home the loser, the other will go home as the silliest silly song ever! And the loser is... Hold it! Stop the countdown! Maybe we didn't collect all the votes. What are you talking about? Sure we did. No, maybe we didn't. Did you remember to check the closet? There's nothing in the closet. <laughs> maybe there's more votes in the closet. Oh, look! Wait a minute. What's going on? We cannot allow our own negligence to violate the will of the people. Hey, I smell something fishy. Uh, that's your friend. Hung Pao Squid? Ah, uh, no. Number two. Hold it. Somebody has a confession to make, don't they? Don't they? 
Okay, okay, I rigged the election! That last bag of votes weren't official votes at all! They were all phony votes for our song! I'm appalled! I'm disgusted! You disgrace the proud title of pirate! Eh, uh, no, wait. Maybe not. I'm sorry. It's just that well, you've got your cheeseburger song, and you've got everything else, and, well, that song is all I had. Well, number two is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, that's really good. You think so? Oh, yeah. It sure beats the forgive o I heard that. Huh. I, I guess you're right. It is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, will you guys forgive me? Okay, oh, oh yeah, right. you'll we'll we'll forgive you. Astonishing contraption of silliness. Will you forgive me? Yes. Oh, good. All right, already. Okay, let's set the record straight. The poets who don't do anything. Now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Joining Laddie are Pa Grape and Mr. Lunt, who together make up the infamous gang of scallywags, the pirates who don't do anything. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never been to Greenland, and I've never been to Denver, and I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul, and I've never been to Moscow, and I've never been to Tampa, and I've never been to Boston in the pool. We're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. We don't do anything. And I never hoist the mainstay, and I never swab the poop deck, and I never bear the starboard, cause I never sail at all. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned that ferret, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. Well, I've never plucked a rooster, and I'm not too good at ping pong. And I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall. And I've never kicked a chipmunk, and I've never gotten head lice, and I've never been to Boston in the fall. Huh? What are you talking about? What's a rooster and mashed potatoes have to do with being a pirate? Hey, that's right. We're supposed to sing about piratey things. And who's ever kissed a chipmunk? That's just nonsense! Why even bring it up? Am I right? What do you think? I think you look like Captain Crunch. Huh? No, I don't. Do too. Do not. You're making me hungry. That's it. You're walking the plank. Says who? Says the cabin. That's who? Oh, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Bug! Spark plug and I've never sniffed a stink bug and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball and I've never bathed in yogurt and I don't look good in leggings. You just don't get it. And we've never been to Boston in the fall. Pass the chips. Who's got the remote control? Here it is. Time for Eraldo. It's definitely time for Wapna. Oh, I don't like this show. Hey, look! I found a quarter! And now, the silliest silly song of all time! The Hairbrush Song. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? 
The peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Laddie smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. <laughs> Well, that's it! The Great Silly Song Countdown is complete! Thanks for voting, everyone! You guys are great! Yeah, thanks! I'm Cloud Squid. his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A two moo moo at A two moo moo at A two moo moo at Barbara Manatee. You are the one for me. Sent from up above. You are the one I love. We are the
Everybody's got a water buffalo Yours is fast but mine is slow Oh where do you get them? I don't know But everybody's got a water buffalo You said to her I like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said he's in this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely hungry But I guess I can wait until then Cause you're his cheeseburger His yummy cheeseburger A beautiful hat A hat Like this just makes him feel so grandly Now fancy this And fancy that The splendor of this hat in all its majesty Like a king In a royal cap I feel so swell and handsome in my hat I bet that others wish they had in fact A hat is this a hat is that a hat So fine a high so hat Oh Mr. Art Bugatti Now what do you think of that? 